For home grows, recirculating systems oftentimes are the uh, powerhouses and they produce a lot of fruit and also they produce a lot of great looking plants. The uh, two tomatoes here, I have been growing these for over 250 days and the container they're growing in is about a little over one gallon. Moving to larger systems that also recirculate, you can actually grow uh, larger plants, of course. Those will also go for a long time indoors as well. Both of these systems require a little bit of topping off of water as well as adding nutrients, sometimes actually getting rid of all the nutrients within the containers and replacing with fresh. Now, if you were to uh, go to a cracky passive a uh, non-circulating hydroponic system such as this 14 gallon drum, you'll find that it is a lot more maintenance free. Once you get it set up, there's really nothing that needs to be done other than just watch the plant grow. And this uh, dwarf tomato plant is the same as what you saw in the arrow garden and it has produced one set of tomatoes already. It was a large clone plant, much larger than normal clones. Let's just lift the lid up on that and you can see that roots are nice and healthy they have not used up much of the nutrient yet, but yet the plant is looking large and lush. And that is one of the advantages of a larger clone. As a matter of fact, I don't start seeds that often indoors because I find that I use a lot of cuttings and rooting those, growing the clones out to put into other systems, such as these cucumber vines that are actually four cuttings off the tips of uh, cucumber plants that were growing in the larger uh, recirculating system that I had. So here is one more consideration. I have to be out of town for about a week and will not be able to get back to top off these small aero gardens or the Mars Hydro desktop garden either. While the 6.6 gallon Black Magic Gropel would have been sufficient to hold over the cucumber plants that I was growing in it, I went ahead and terminated the growth on those plants as well. Why you might ask, well, one of the things that uh, I've been wanting to do is change up my indoor grow a little bit. I want to switch over a little bit more to the uh, passive non-circulating systems, such as the uh, crack key drum that you see over here. I do have a few more business plans and it's going to keep me from doing my regular maintenance. If you can be in a spot where you can pay attention to your gardens on a daily basis or throughout the week. There's no problem with going with the systems that I showed you, but if you have a busy schedule, you have very little time, I would suggest that you actually go to something more like what you see here, because I can go out of town for two, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, and not have to worry about it. It's going to have all the nutrients that it needs. This is a fill once and forget type setup. Up. and this is one of the great benefits of it that uh, I will be able to come and go as I please and I may end up losing a few of the uh, tomatoes or cucumbers you know that uh, are produced if I'm out but uh, that's really no big deal because I can come back and I could clean up the plants and continue to harvest off of those now, keep in mind that a lot of the plants do produce more if you keep those picked clean. So if you are going to be out for a couple weeks and you have, for example, a zucchini, which is one of the plants that if you have some fruits that uh, grow quite large and are beyond the point of picking, they're just enormous, they do start to signal the plant that it's time to uh, stop growing. And so it's a good idea to keep those picked clean. Rather than completely lose these two beautiful micro dwarf golden harvest tomato plants, what I'm going to end up doing is most likely taking some more large cuttings and perpetuate the plant so that I don't uh, totally lose it uh, during the time you know that uh, I am out. And if you're wondering what I'm doing to clean up these units, I have filled these up with 100% white vinegar. I have an area where there's a lot of uh, calcium mineral deposits 
and white vinegar does a great job of taking that off the sides. When I get back, what I'll end up doing is I will just dump this out and clean it and the gardens will be ready to uh, rinse out and fill up and replant. For indoor gardening, I favor plants such as the uh, parthenocarpic uh, cucumber varieties that do not need bees to pollinate. Uh, the same with this uh, Easy Pick Gold 2 Hybrid Zucchini plant. It does not need pollination either. These tend to go for a long period of time as well as plants such as broccoli. You can uh, get the initial head, but if you continue to grow it, it will produce florets on the sides. You can continue to uh, harvest from that. Now, other plants that I tend to grow are lettuces. Those I can get up to about uh, four months, and I just pick off the uh, outer leaves and let those continue to produce. Radishes are a one-time deal, and I found that the uh, giant daikon variety actually is a great choice for hydroponics because it tends to get large enough to have substantial produce to eat, and it doesn't take long to grow. Actually performs better in hydro than other uh, varieties of radishes. So the game plan is to have a combination of uh, long-term plants that have multiple harvests, such as the tomatoes and the cucumbers, as well as a cut and come uh, lettuce variety or two, and a few plants such as radishes that uh, just come on quickly and are harvested allows me to uh, push multiple cycles of those short-term plants uh, through my indoor gardens. And this has been just a quick update where I'm at with getting ready to revamp my indoor garden.